So in addition to Be Kind Rewind, the next concept I want to share with you is to reflect, reflect, reflect. It's a similar thing. Okay, so reflect, reflect, reflect is the concept is that's a basic tool that you should learn anytime in any counseling office. I don't know that you would go to any counselor without learning this skill when it comes to improving relationship and communication with whoever it is that you want to communicate. Because by reflecting back, summarizing back, it's also called parroting. By reflecting back what you heard, it's acknowledging that you listened and that you heard correctly. And if you didn't, it gives that other person an opportunity to correct what you understood that they didn't want, but to understand what they did want you to understand. It's a very powerful, a simple, powerful tool uh, and by verbally reflecting it can be very powerful often we get talking 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 back and forth and we get in argument when we take the time to slow down and reflect back that can take you out of any argument if you will take the time to reflect because it takes more time uh, it takes more control to reflect and it shows that you're listening so proper reflection can de-escalate any fight and avoid it and I, I have to say that in the majority of counseling that I've done with couples that one tool of just taking the time to reflect makes a big difference it reduces the fights by over half and so what do you need to do to remind yourself to reflect? Sometimes uh, writing that on a three by five card is when you get confused, you pull it out and just look at it and remind yourself. You might put a rock in your pocket, whatever it is, is to just remind you the power of reflection. So put that into your communication, especially when it's not going happily. And that will help it get to the better side. Good luck.